Good morning. You want to go to the park? We are here, it's been a while. Feels like it's been a long while, right? Well, good morning my friends, your old pal Jordan the Lion. How are you today? Well, I hope you're doing great. Today I have to run a bunch of errands. I made an appointment to get an oil change, I gotta get a few new clothes, and uh, I'm gonna do a vlog somewhere in the middle of there. I wanna give Ja a chance to come out here and play because we haven't been here in like, what, like a week and a half or whatever, so I was kinda missing the fresh air too, so. You know, we've been back for, what, two days now, so it was time to come back. Um, I also think I might head down to screen bids today and see if they got the set from the office. Um, I know they were supposed to get it like a week or two ago, so I want to go see if they got it and just take a look. I love that show. And oh yeah, Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. You gonna wrestle? And if I look any different today, it's because on our way home from the museum, uh, Adam and I broke off and I went and got a haircut. Thought I was looking a little shaggy and probably needed it. <laughs> See some of your friends? Who is that? Is that Mochi? here. Well, I went to Amiibo last night with Adam the Woo and uh, saw something in there that was a real movie classic t-shirt that I've never seen anywhere else. I had to get it. I'll show you guys what I got. I got the shirt that Booger is wearing when he's standing out front of the Lambda house in Revenge of the Nerds. I had never seen it before. I couldn't believe it. And just as I'm picking it up, Adam the Woo, I hear him make a weird noise. I look over and he found an over-the-top shirt. So... All right, let's take a walk down to Scream Bids and see if they got anything new. Well, this one's new. Hadn't seen this one before. Or that one. Those are great. Oh, it's because I think they're just now putting them up. Yep. Oh, fantastic timing. We got the scoop. <laughs> Crazy they still have that Studio Cafe sign up here. That place has been gone for 10, 15 years. Easily the worst place I've ever eaten, probably in my entire life. And uh, one of the stories about it is that when the Beach Boys played their demo tape for Capitol Records up the street that they were apparently eating here waiting for the call. That was in one of the Beach Boys books that they waited at the Studio Cafe and called back like an hour later or something. Oh, here it is. I have a good feeling about this because I see a few new things right here in the uh, entryway, so that's always a good sign. Like this. Those weren't here last time. Well, first things first, you notice all the Laurel and Hardy posters are gone, so there's some changes. They said the office stuff, they have acquired it, but they haven't set it up yet, so I'll have to come back for it. Looks like they sold uh, the bedding and everything from New Girl. The couch is still here. Huh. That's, uh, yeah, that's definitely one of Jess's outfits. So, this is all stuff from the show. You can see. So, if you're a new girl fan and you're still hoping to come get something. Huh. When did they, uh, did they have Derek Rose on the show? I'll look that up. I wonder if, if he was on the show and if that was his. Interesting. Let's check it out. Looks like a lot of this stuff is still the same. They haven't had the uh, Laurel and Hardy auction here yet, so all the cool stuff that we saw last time we were here. Still have all this stuff. And the Get Down, remember last time I was here, I said I, I'd never even heard of it and I never watched it. I went home and watched it and it, it was actually pretty good. I was kind of surprised that they canceled it, but that's the way it goes. Win some, you lose some. No explanations in Hollywood, you know what I mean? Uh, God, 
I wish I had the money and the space for this kind of stuff. That's from, uh, we found out last time, Boardwalk Empire. Oh, they got a lot of boots here all of a sudden. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they've changed a few things. That wasn't here last time. That fiery foot, that wasn't here. Cool. The Ty Cobb ball was here. Still never seen that show to know whether it's any good, but I've heard it's really good. There's the, uh, oh, so all of these, all these shoes have to be from the get down. And um, he wears a special, the red Pumas on the show. So that's the big deal. When I was here last time and I saw the red Pumas, I was like, I wonder what the big deal is with this. There's like a main character who's like the main graffiti artist. And he's almost like treated like a Svengali a lot of the time. And he always wears the, the red Pumas with the white like this. I love all the stuff down here. Isn't that great? Rad. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Shaolin is the name of that character on the Get Down, and so it says Hero Clydes for close up. So that means that they use this pair for um, wrong size, but all, but all we have. Yeah, so that means whenever they were doing close ups, they kept this pair extra clean. He probably didn't even wear them. They just, or they had him put them on, or a foot model, or somebody put them on just for the close up shots. Pretty cool. And when on the box it said Clyde, that means because these are the Clyde Drexler models. You can see Clyde on there. Now you can see this pair. These are bigger. These are 12 and a half, and this pair was nine and a half. So these are probably ones he actually wore in the movie, and I, or the TV show. And I actually could wear those. These are cool, I do have to say. Simpsons Chucks, that's pretty cool. Never seen those. I know they're not my size. I can already tell they're too small, but see. Well, so they were made probably for this 2013. So it looks like a lot of the main stuff over here is the same stuff. I'm guessing that is the, um, and that's hilarious that it is, that's the, uh, the cat climber or whatever, the cat toy from New Girl. Look, there's some of the, uh, this was on the set at one point, Jess and they were on vacation. So that was probably on one of the, um, and there's a picture of her with the hot for teacher mug. I wanna see how much that mug is. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, surprisingly, it was a really funny show. I, like I said, I had a girlfriend that started watching it randomly on Netflix and made me watch it, and I was like, yeah, this actually is pretty funny. So, well written. There's the Paul Blart. And I was just feeling that if, if you feel it, you can tell they specifically made that for the show, because you could probably scratch those right off. Here's a picture of Nick and Jess, and this is Nick's suit from the show, from that scene. Look at this insane jacket from the Mindy Project. That's crazy. And then this jacket's even like autographed. Wonder if they know that. Never could get into that show, so I, I didn't really follow it enough to care, but looks like that's a cast. That might even be Tim Allen. Was he a guest on that show? Looks like a cast signed jacket. Interesting. I'm considering buying this. I can't wear it right now, but I used to be able to wear this size, so I might be able to get back into it again. I might buy that sucker. Look at that. That's a freaking Graham Parsons nudie shirt. That's hilarious, that episode of uh, <laughs> Parks and Rec when they were couldn't get Larry Bird, so they had Tilda Bird. We can't really tell what this is from, but this is a, it's like a ponytail that's been cased in glass. <laughs> Not crazy? All this stuff is from the Mindy Project. This, like, she had a pretty crazy wardrobe pretty much always, so. If you're looking for any of this stuff from the Mindy Project, you can find it all here, <laughs> as you can tell. Jeez, and, like, it just gets wilder and wilder. Then this is actually from the set, this stuff right here. And this, you can see this whole bag is Norman's outfit from Bates Motel. Check that out. Isn't that crazy? You can buy the whole wardrobe right there. That Charlie Chaplin ashtray is amazing. Take a look at that. You ash into there and it goes up that little crevice and it spits out of his, his where his little cigar would be so it actually makes him smoke too. <laughs> That's hilarious. They said literally any day on the office stuff, they're pricing it as we speak. They said they got a ton of small things. Let's swing by the post office. I gotta mail something out. All right, Elvis, we're done. We got it all done. Let's get out of here. Just drop it here. All right. There have been rumblings that there's something going on with Guns N' Roses, so I don't know what that is, but keep your eyes peeled soon. 
All right, let's head back. I gotta get to my oil change here soon. Meth zombies, that way. There's some pretty cool shops over here by where I get my uh, my oil changed, and that's actually the reason I do it, so I can shop in those stores and stuff, so probably do some more vlogging over here. All right, the car's dropped off. I got about a half an hour. Now, I almost always explore this area over here by Porto's, and it's always like kind of vintage shops, thrift shops, like movie houses and things like that. So I'm gonna check out this strip, because I don't know what's down here, but I do see a train store on the other side, so I might end up over there. I know there's kind of like a horror store over here somewhere, I just don't remember where. Moviola's behind us, which reminds me of a band named Moviola. And then there's a Target over here, so we're definitely not going to Target. We want a, something a little bit more interesting than Target. See, I'm thinking right there, the train shack. I think that's where we want to go, right? Oh, this is pretty rad. Here's a mural to Bob's Big Boy's Friday Night Cruising Night. A lot of people kind of know it because of Jay Leno making it famous, but for a long, long time, years, 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 and years, Bob's Big Boy over there in Toluca Lake that we, we've we gone to a couple of times. Every Friday night, I think they still do it. They used to have all these classic cars come and uh, park in the car hop spots. Safari Inn, we've been there. We vlogged that. Look, American Graffiti. Forever Young. Dang right. Young in the mind, baby, young in the mind. Never. Oh, look who's doing the vandalism. I mean, painting. It's Bob himself. Now this is what I wanna check out. It's clearly a model train store, but I don't get to see many of those in my life, so I'd love to see what one that has actually survived in Los Angeles is like. Great mural outside too, right? A family tradition, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. They have the great Santa Fe over here. Look at that. And you can, look, you can see the mission behind it. Isn't that great? Well done. Well, check this out. The first thing I saw when I came in, other than just this great train track that you could watch. I mean, they have it all set up. But remember when we were in Sweden and I was pointing out Brio and I was going, I was asking um, uh, Norpon, what is Brio? And he was telling me that, it, you know, it was these wood block type toys. Well, that's Brio right there. So, but when I also looked over this way, I saw this and I thought this was amazing. You can see all the things that you can buy for your own train set at home. And I was recently actually watching a, um, that new um, Netflix thing with Bill Nye. And Bill Nye's a huge uh, model train collector because his dad instilled it in him and his brother. That was like a family thing. So it's kind of cool to see this. I'm sure they have one on the tracks that we could, we could see running and everything at some point. Look at that, there's a pink Cadillac in there. Now look at the, uh, look at the theater. This hot pink palace theater. Then you, <laughs> you have Godzilla. That is great. See, this is the kind of stuff you really have to appreciate. You're just out and about for the day, looking around, getting your oil changed in your car, and you go, hey, I'll take a, a turn down a street that I've never been down before and see where it leads us, and it leads us right in here. Take a look at that. That tower over there, that's great. These are all the ones that you can actually buy, so you can customize your entire own track. All the way down to where the train house is running through. Now check this out, I just heard some noise. They just kicked it into gear for us. Look at this. Hot air balloon. Look, King Kong. Look at the construction lights.
Can you see the steam? Now check this out. You can see the Merry Christmas decorations here on the Greyhound station. Yeah, it's a Greyhound station, isn't that great? See the train going in the background? Right back there. So over here you can see most everything that they've built this little world out of is right here. There's the theater I was showing you, the Hot Pink Palace Theater. You can have your own here. You can buy Merry Christmas right there. You can get your people from the Polar Express here. Set up your own scenes. Look at this little scene. We have a bit of a catastrophe here. People in this shop couldn't be nicer. As soon as they saw I was filming and everything, I told them what I was going to do. I, I, well, I asked. I said, do you mind if I vlog this and show everybody? And they came over here and turned the train on for me. and your own conductor's hat. And then this whole case, these are all options for people to fill your train station and your train community with. Train Shack, the best train store in Burbank. I'd have to agree, wouldn't you? Look at all the options you have here too. I mean, they have like every time period. Isn't that great? How cool is that place? That was awesome. Huh. Oh yeah, I bet I could get the clothes I need here. All right, I needed some khaki pants, so I went ahead and popped in that Target. Well, we're taking this guy out for some playtime at the park again. He's surveying the situation. Go get somebody. Well, friends, you have fun? You're trying to eat other people's dinner. I saw that, I caught you. Standing on their tables, waiting for them to open it up. Well, good evening, Lionhearts. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Even though we didn't get to see the set from the office, we did get a walk into a pretty cool old train store that I really didn't know it was even there, and it was pretty cool to see something that we didn't plan on, so. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and tomorrow I think I'm gonna do a different take on the Wonderland murders. I think I'm gonna tell you a little bit different story than I think what's ever been told, so. Or at least a different perspective on it anyway. So come back and see me tomorrow. I want to thank Pam Hall for becoming my newest Patreon. If you'd like to donate, go to paypal.com um, or paypal.me slash Jordan the Lion or go to patreon.com slash Jordan the Lion. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed all these adventures and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great night and goodbye. Bye.